Hey guys, it's Adrian, and tonight I'm going to be making a baked spaghetti with a salad and a French bread garlic loaf. Tomato! one of my family's favorite meals and what I do is I make a spaghetti I put some cheese on it and I bake it in the oven it's really simple but it makes a huge portion and I'm also going to be making a salad and a French loaf um, garlic bread and I'm going to show you how to make this and it's super easy I've already got my pound of hamburger going you can do more hamburger but really this really is enough but I do get a very large thing of spaghetti sauce because I use a pound of noodles. And you can always use a smaller amount. You don't have to make this for a large crab if you just want to make this for your family. But like I said, I, I am making this. My parents and my sister and brother-in-law are coming over. Plus my family, so we need a we need a big amount. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this spaghetti sauce in here and just let this be simmering. I have got my water going um, and my new pen that I got on sale at William and Sonoma. They had a, a closeout sale here in Montgomery and uh, I went and got this for 40% off so I'm really excited because I can use this for just about everything. Tie, tie. Thank you so much. This and I heard a tip that if you put some baking soda in the water while it's cooking, while they're boiling, that the shells will peel right off. So cross our fingers that that's going to work. But while my water's boiling, my hamburger meat is um, simmering, I'm going to go ahead and cut up the French loaf and go ahead and be making that. Okay, my water's boiling really good right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put my noodles in real quick and let those get boiling while I, <clears throat> before I make my French loaf real quick. Alright. Noodles going everywhere. You can see I'm a professional at noodles. Alright, one thing I like to do is I like to go ahead and break them up to a little bit smaller pieces. I don't know why. I like to break them once. I like to break them small. And even though I break them small, they always seem to come back out so long. It doesn't make sense. Like, so this is a pound of angel hair. I like angel hair. Pasta, the other just seems so, so thick. Now, let me spread this out in here a little bit. I've never used this pan before, so I'm hoping it's big enough for my spaghetti. Looks like I'm going to need to add some more, but we'll just let that cook for now and see how it goes. Okay, let's go ahead and start working on our French loaf. These are a dollar at Walmart. They're made fresh every day, and they are delicious. You can make these for sandwiches. Um, I make these with a sloppy joe loaf. There's another video that you can watch. It was so good. We finished that today. And also chicken salad sandwiches. This would be great for that. Or tuna salad. These are great for parties. You can just go ahead and break it up and have it ready. Alright, so we'll flip that open there. And we're going to spread this with butter. Some generous helping of butter on there. Okay, I finished buttering the loaves, and now I'm just going to put a little bit of garlic salt, salt on here. And you don't want to overdo this because it'll be so salty, and that will not taste delicious. All right, just a little bit of that. And you are good to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and stick this in the oven. I'm not going to cook it yet. We want to wait until um, the spaghetti bake is done. 
but I'm just going to go ahead and stick that in there. Check on my noodles. Alright, they're doing good. And this is simmering nicely. And my eggs look like they're about to start boiling. I'm going to boil those for about 12 minutes. Alright, so while we're doing that, we're going to go ahead and start our salad. Now I went ahead and I got the pre-mixed stuff. I'm in a hurry tonight, so I'm not chopping up my little stuff. Alright, got bag of salad in there. Okay. I also like to add a vegetable medley of cauliflower and broccoli to mine and I also got that already done. I should probably really do this on the side in case nobody else likes this but I'll get over it. Like you take it out. And of course you make the salad the way you like it. Anything goes. All right, I'm just going to finish putting up, putting everything in here, and then we'll come back and it looks like our noodles are almost done, and we'll go ahead and start the spaghetti bake. Okay, our noodles are done, and I went ahead and drained them and stuck them back in the pan, which is still extremely hot, and everything's starting to stick. So I'm going to hurry up and pour this sauce in and get it mixed up really good. this in. And you may need some more sauce. You just have to mix this in to see. I'm going to add a little bit more to that, but before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and add some cheese in. And let that be melting. Okay, we put a little bit of cheese in, and we're going to mix that in and let it melt. And I'm going to add a little bit more spaghetti sauce here. I can figure out what I did with it. No. Thank you, Gannon. My son is assisting me this evening. Alright, my daughter told me, don't talk, just make it. So, we have added in a little bit more spaghetti sauce and that looks really good. Now I'm going to get... dish which I really use a lot. Just put it up this afternoon. It's time to get it back out. No! Yes it is. It's time to get no! it out. I just want to scrape as much of that off as possible. Alright. Now we're going to spread this out. Will you look in the refrigerator and see there's some Parmesan in there? It should be new. It should be sitting right in the front somewhere. Okay, we're going to even this out. Watch out where the clothes are. We are going to... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some cheese on this. And this is hot enough that it's going to start melting, but we're still, thank you, we're still going to need to stick it in the oven just a little bit. Alright, we're just going to use all this because there's not much left in there. Just kind of trying to fill in the holes a little bit. And I am also going to add some Parmesan on here. You don't have to, but you can. You can put any kind of cheese on here that you want to. We're going to turn the oven on 350 degrees and we're going to stick this in here for about 10 or 15 minutes to let the cheese melt and once it's melted you're done with that. 
this in the bottom of the chips. And we've got that French loaf on the top. So we're going to go ahead and also, well, let's just roll that. Okay. All right. Now my eggs should be hard boiled by now. So I'm going to pull those out, let those cool off, let everything cook. And I'm going to finish putting a little bit of stuff in my salad. And then we'll come back and... I'll show you the end results and hopefully it'll be delicious. Let's hope so. Okay guys, here's the bread. It looks and smells so good. I almost got it a little bit too done, but that's all right. It is perfect. Now I'm just going to chop up my eggs and we're waiting a few more minutes for the spaghetti to be done and it'll be time to eat. All right. I believe this is done and pull this is hot. salad so I am going to be finishing that up I've got the loaf bread and I've got the spaghetti ready so it is almost time to eat so I'll be back in just a minute and I'll plate everything for you so you can get a good look at it and we'll be done okay guys I am trying to peel the eggs now I'm gonna see if the baking soda in the water helped um, I really don't know it's coming off a little bit easier than the last time I boiled some eggs supposed to just fall right off. These are hot. I ran them under some cold water let them sit there for a little bit, but no. Yeah, this must have been a hot chick. <laughs> yeah, my sister laughed at that when I were at half five. Honey, these really do come off a little bit easier. Wow. So now you know. Put some baking soda in there. Or as my grandma calls it, baking soda. And... Fascinating. Okay guys, it is finally time to eat. So we're going to plate a little bit of this and you can see it is hot and it is cheesy and it is smelling delicious. I'm going to put some bread on here and then let's make us a salad real quick. And for my salads, I love this crumbled cheese by Kraft. It's great. Just put that right there. I do not like cucumbers, so I'm just gonna leave that off. Maybe we'll just put one on the side for decoration. It looks beautiful and very artistic. And some of these eggs that we did with our eggy. And a little bit of bacon. And ta-da, a simple meal for a big crowd. And it didn't even take that long. Just, you know, waiting on my parents. That was all the part that took me. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like some of my other videos, like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you next time.